Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to bind your Turnigy 9X receiver with your remote. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. So I'm using this receiver on a 118 scale Team Associated 18MT. I'm running it with a 3S LiPo and a brushless 6100 KV Toro motor. Um, I just dug it out of my closet and I was fixing it up but I could only find the 9X receiver to put on it so it looks and drives a little goofy but it gets the job done just fine. So for this bind you're going to need your Turnigy 9X remote, a Turnigy receiver, the bind cable, it looks like this but you could also make one from scratch uh, using an old servo lead if you're uh, in a pinch or you lost the one that it came with. Uh, you'll just solder the two outside connections together, um, it's just a loop. So you also need 5 volts of DC power most of your batteries in your RC planes or helicopters will be a higher voltage than the Turnigy receiver can handle. I'll be using this BEC in order to neck down the voltage of my main 3S battery uh, to the 5 volts that the receiver requires. A BEC is a cheap and easy way uh, in order to power your receiver um, off of your main battery and I put a link in the description below. I've also seen other people using four AA batteries in series uh, to power their uh, Turnigy receiver. Here's a picture of what that would look like, um, and I've also included a link below for that. However you can get the uh, 5 volts in order to power your Turnigy receiver is awesome. Just make sure that the connection is um, of that servo lead type. So start by making sure all of your batteries are unplugged and your remote is off. Um, supplying power to this thing is going to be one of the last steps. So start by plugging uh, the 5 volt connection, or the BEC in my case, into your Turnigy receiver. It's going to go into the last port of the 9X receiver and take a note of the orientation. The black or ground lead is the one that's on the bottom and the plus 5 volts uh, or the power, the red lead, is going in the middle. The top connection on the BEC or the going to the 9X receiver is not used. So next, plug your binding cable into the next available port in the 9X receiver. It's the one right below uh, where you just plug um, the 5 volt or BEC connection. Uh, it's the one right next to it and your final product should look like this. So next you want to uh, plug in your battery into um, the BEC supplying the Turnigy 9X receiver with power and take a look at the um, flashing red light that's in the middle of the receiver. Next on the back of your Turnigy remote in the very middle you want to press and hold down this button. While you're holding it turn on the remote and pay attention to that uh, flashing LED that was in the middle of your 9X receiver, it should have turned solid. Um, when that has turned solid, you know that the receiver is now bound, so you can now um, disconnect your bind plug, restart the remote and the receiver, and then plug a servo in and test out, uh, test out your uh, new receiver. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd really appreciate you clicking the like button below and subscribe to my channel for other RC videos. Here are a couple links to other FPV videos that I've made in the past.